Okay everyone, welcome back again to another Fox Tech video. This time we talk about the iPhone as you can see right here and of course uh, as the title says we're talking about the red icon or the indicator, the badge at the phone app or especially voicemail. So how can you remove it? What can you do about that? Of course if you open up the phone app and if you can see the red dot in here inside of the app what you can do is just tap on the voicemail icon in case you can see it right here uh, all the way at the end on the right side of the tab bar just go ahead and click on it and it just indicates the red dot is there to indicate and let you know that you have some unread or unlistened to voicemails so what you have to do is just to listen to them click on it acknowledge that you know about them and the red dot should go away so this is like the basic approach if not you can still go ahead and delete all of the messages like by swiping or doing the uh, uh, edit and selecting all of them and if you delete all the uh, voicemails then it's not going to give you any red dots or anything so this is something that you have to do besides that there are some other options so you can go ahead and just open up the settings uh, like that and go to the notifications and you want to make sure that you disable the badges in here so scroll down through all the entire list of all of your apps and go to the phone and you can see multiple different settings and all the stuff that you can play with but you can go ahead and turn off the badges like this and now the phone app is not going to have any red dots but this mostly applies to the icon on the home screen not within the app but in case you have some kind of problem with this uh, this icon at the bottom then you can go ahead and disable the badges for the phone specifically and it's not gonna deliver any badges or red dots or anything like that so i'm gonna keep it turned on because i like it but you can do whatever you want and yeah if you still see some kind of different unusual thing then chances are that it's just a glitch it's not supposed to be there so try it just like usual and try to update the latest ios version you can see i've run at the latest one so this is something that you're gonna have to do but other than that there isn't much else what you could do in this situation hope you found this video useful if you did go ahead and hit the thumbs up and i'll catch you in the next video peace out until then <laughs>